Hi and welcome to this New Year Intention Spell by Crank Club. Um, this is the spell along that goes with the New Year Intention Spell Kit, which is this. Um, so hopefully you've already got this if you've taken part in this spell and found this video. Um, so this spell is all about setting intentions for the New Year ahead, like it says on the tin. Um, and basically all we're going to do is to set some intentions um, to kind of get rid of the, the last year that's just passed and look forward to the new year ahead. And intentions are just kind of like wishes really, so that's that's what this is all about. And throughout this spell, we're gonna create a little spell jar that's gonna go in this jar, like all the other spells on the site. Um, so I'll just guide you through step by step, explain what each of the ingredients does uh, as we add them into the jar. Okay, so I have got the spell kit the same as everyone else that I'll be using. So, um, I've, but the only difference is that my ingredients have come in little, I've got them in little jars, only because I'm waiting for a delivery of the bag, so that's why we've got them in little jars for this one. So we'll just see that you can see what's going on. I'll just put this down so slightly. There we go. So we've got, so in your spell kit, you'll have exactly the same. So we've got salt. We've got some clear quartz, some cloves, um, and some calendula flowers. And then of course, a little spell jar, um, an essential oil blend, which comes with each spell kit, um, a little scroll, um, and this is a little 2021 charm and um, we've also got a white candle, a white spell candle and a incense stick which is um, a white sage incense stick for cleansing. So the first thing that we do is we're going to light the incense. And this is a white sage incense so this is for cleansing the energy really and just neutralizing the energy in the space that we're using so this is what you should do before any spell work really it's just you can either use this or you can use um, a sage smudge stick or you can use um, some frankincense essential oil anything that's just going to cleanse the energy in the space so that's what we're going to do it's just kind of waft that smoke around a little bit just to let that energy cleanse and then we can just leave that burning there we go she says <laughs> Um, and then the next thing we're going to do is just light the candle. So it's a white candle, um, a white spell candle, and white candles are for, especially for setting intentions or for like letting go of things. It's just um, a really clean um, energy with a white spell. So they're really good for setting intentions. So that's that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of this essential oil blend. Um, and this is basically just essential oil, so it's clary sage, frankincense and uh, peppermint just blended with some almond oil, so um, just inside this little bottle. So all we do is just open that and then to begin we just put a couple of dots just on the palm of your hand and then we're just going to rub that together and inhale a nice deep breath. inhale that, that lovely smell those essential oils so it's got clary sage in it which is really good for relieving stress and balancing hormones so it's really good for, for helping us um, get rid of the stress of the last year and um, peppermint which is really revitalizing and energizing and cleansing and then frankincense which is grounding and stabilizing so we want to go into the new year with like a nice grounded sense of who we are and what we're doing Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to start adding the ingredients into the spell jar. So this is the spell jar. I'm just going to add them in one at a time. So the first thing we're going to add in is some salt. And what salt does is it just protects us when we're doing the spell. So salt's really good to start any sort of spell work. It just protects the energy and makes sure the spell's got a good intention. So there we go, we just add as much as you want of the salt there, just in the bottom. And then the next thing we're going to add is some clear quartz. So we just want a few little pieces of clear quartz just going in there. And clear quartz is a really, really good all-round 
um, crystal really but it's particularly good for healing and um, helping us get like an insight into the future um, and kind of knowing what we want um, but it's also because it's clear um, it's because it, it's like a new start so it's um, completely clear of any any negativity or any of the past and it's kind of ready for a fresh start so that's why it's really good for a new year intention spell so we want to have a nice fresh new year start and um, the next thing we're going to put in is some cloves just got these dried cloves just put a few of these in they smell really nice and Christmassy I'm just going to put them in there just a few of them in and what cloves do is they're really good for banishing negativity or banishing evil traditionally is what they would be thought to do so that's just kind of getting rid of any negativity of the past year ready for a nice new year energy and keeping it that way as well as we head into the the new year so that's that and then the last thing we put in here is the calendula flowers and these are really love these are dried calendulas so they're really lovely big yellow flowers when they're in bloom and what calendula does is it's all about transformation and joy it's a lovely yellowy color that brings lots of joy and that's what we want as we head into the new year we want whatever it is that brings us joy that's what we're wishing for for 2021 and you can do this spell at any time of the year it's not necessarily new year any time you want to set some intentions you can do that through this spell okay so that's them in there making a mess <laughs> and then we're gonna add this is um, a little tiny scroll and on it you can write what your intentions are for the new year ahead so what your wishes are anything that you want to happen in the new year ahead um, I'm just going to write them down on this piece of paper which I will do as well I don't want you to see there we go so you just write that down whatever it is you can write one thing you can write a few things down and then we just roll that up and then put that back on there and just push that down inside the jar and then last but not least we have our little 2021 little silver charm there because that's what we're in 2021 going into 2021 so it's just to bring all those all that luck and all those intentions for that year and then finally you can just add a couple of drops of the essential oil blend as well just to give boost that a little bit more so that's gone in it smells lovely and then I'm just going to pop the cork back into the top of the bottle so that's everything that we needed to add into that spell jar is now added in there as you can see and our intentions are, are nicely in there as well for the year ahead and then what we're going to do is before we seal that up we're just going to have a little take a little few breaths just to think about the intentions and to say the blessing that um, goes with this spell jar as well so back up. hello so you can see you again <laughs> okay so we've got everything in the spell jar now um so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a few moments to so just close down your eyes just try and um, bring your awareness just into the room and into the space taking a nice deep breath and through your nose we'll just blow that nice and slowly out through the mouth and then repeating that again just taking a nice deep breath in blow that out and what we're going to do is to just try and think about those things those intentions that you put inside the jar those wishes for the next year and just try and think of them bring them to mind now and think about how it's going to feel when you achieve those when those things come true when they come to light just try and think about that feeling and just trying to hold it inside you think about where that feeling is is it in your stomach is it in your heart where where is that feeling that joy that happiness that comes with it with these intentions is it security is it safety is it comfort what is it that this intention is going to bring and try and hold on to that feeling so we take a nice deep breath i'm just going to seal this up now with a blessing 
just going to say, I let go of the year that's passed and welcome health, wealth, joy and love as the brand new year arrives and guides me on the path to abundance. So I let go of the year that has passed and welcome health, wealth, joy and love as the brand new year arrives and guides me on the path to abundance. And then all that's left to do now is to seal the spell up. If you've done one of these before, you know it's a little bit messy. So what I'm going to do is I'll just turn this down again so you can see what I'm doing. As you can see my um, little incense holder is very messy from doing a few of these different spells. So all we do is we take the candle that we've just been burning, the white candle, if you can get it out, and just resting on something that you don't mind dripping wax on. Just going to drip wax onto the top of this spell now onto the top of the jar, on top of the cork, and you'll see that the wax starts to drip down and to maybe kind of go around the edges a bit. It takes a bit of time and it is a little bit messy, but you're just going to let that wax just seal the jar now. As you can see it'll start to drip down the sides as well. What this does is it just seals that intention, that spell, up inside the jar and keeps it nice and safe in there and then all we do is we just keep this spell jar nearby throughout the year um, and just whenever we look at it we can just think of those intentions and it helps us go back to that that intention that we set at the start of the year and that feeling of positivity because this is a brand new year 2020 has been a little bit rubbish for some it's been lessons learned for a lot of people as well but it has been all around a very difficult year so we're hoping that 2021 is going to bring us lots of luck and, and new intentions. So as you can see, that's just started to seal that jar. And that it takes a little while, so just keep going with that until it's completely sealed all around the edge with the wax. Then what you do is just leave that candle to burn until it's completely burnt out. And then that's the spell over, so leave it somewhere safe so that it's burnt out. And that's it. So now we've got our nice New Year spell jar. Um, and that's the end of the spell. And I wish you all a very happy New Year. It needs a glass. Um, and I hope 2021 brings you everything you've dreamed of. Lots of love.